lo bonito. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today? Uh, today, uh, thank you, so my God. Very nice. Okay, that is good. I'm happy that you're that you're very well. Did you work today? Did you travel to outside San Salvador or just here in San Salvador? Uh, here in San Salvador. Okay. Is it training where you are? Repeat, teacher. Can you repeat? Is it training where you are right now? Oh, yes. It is? Yes. Oh. Yes, in different places it's raining. Uh, a lot of uh, raining for here. Mm -hmm. It's been raining all day? Or just just um for hours or mo mm -hmm. or moments? Uh, one moment it is raining. Okay. Recording in progress. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Rolando. Welcome, Carlos. Thank you so much for being on time. Okay. I really appreciate that you are on time. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing today? I am so so, teacher. How is the weather? Oh, the weather this is really bad. It's terrible. It's terrible where you are? Yeah. Really? It's raining. It's raining hard. In Suchitot, it's raining. Yeah, in Suchitot, it's raining hard. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm really sorry. I hope that everything is okay. So, what about the rest? What about you, Carlos? Is it training there in, in La Libertad? Not yet, teacher. Everything no. is okay for the moment. Okay, good. Yes. What about you, um, Gabriela? Hi, teacher. Hi. I like the weather, this weather, but it's dangerous for some people, but the different places for the, I don't know, to say the Umbes or like uh, the, the, I don't know, oh, yeah, it's, um, dangerous. It is dangerous. The, mm -hmm. uh, because for the, yes, reason. Mm -hmm. Risky places, right? Where um people are not in a safe place. So I mean, but they know, right? So they have to evacuate the place. But uh, some of them they don't they don't do it. That is the problem. That they they take the risk, even though they know that it um it is not safe. Well, but I hope that everything is okay, whatever you are. I live in San Bartolo, but I live in here. At this, it's okay. It's quiet, I, I think. But but the raining is more hard. But I have places like. Uh, uh, 
I don't know, around uh, my work. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes, the I don't know what to say, but I mucha inundación, a lot of uh, or like uh, around like Matasano and Santa Lucia. It's more difficult for me go to the work, but I I work <laughs> to the work. <laughs> Yes, I understand. I'm really sorry about that. Okay, inundación, you said? Flood. Flood. Flood, like F-L-O-O-D. Flood or, flo or flooding, teacher? Flood. Flo flooding? Flood. Oh. Flooding, yes, you can say also flooding. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. And the rumbes, you say landslide. Landslide. Mm, landslide mm -hmm. okay. because they land slide right land is light land is light yes es como tierra pedazos o algo así yes okay that uh, mm -hmm. this one landslide That is really dangerous. Okay, be careful if you live in places that is is uh, mm, common. This kind of a slash, a, a landslide. Be careful with that. Teacher, how do you say Rio das Bordal? Um, uh, I want to show you this. Okay, this is uh when is inundado as you said right yes, yes uh -huh, but rio that. desbordado uh -huh. mm, not sure let me see if i can find the word overflowing river maybe mm -hmm. overflowing <laughs> it could be Overflow, overflowing uh -huh, over, over, overflowing river Okay. Our Overflow, river Overflow River, river yes. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Well, welcome, guys. Welcome to this class. Uh, welcome to this class. This is the number 19, right? Where Missy just this class and then six classes more, and we are done with this model. Okay, then you will be in uh, intermediate three. Okay. <laughs> clap, 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 clap. <laughs> <laughs> intermediate three, okay? So, yes. wow, imagine how is you the will, time Do running. you will teach the next model, teacher? Uh, I cannot make sure, so we're going <laughs> really? to see later. Okay. okay. Okay, so today we're going to continue talking about the product, right? Different products. So the topic will be product cost. Okay, and then we were going to have a conversation about that. Um, the lesson objective for this class is identify specific information in a passage related to calculated cost a product. Okay, so we're going to have there uh a uh, reading related to product cost. Okay, good. So, oh, but first uh, we're going to end the activity that we have before so that we were doing, um, what we were doing, we were doing this, right? Try to assemble all the parts of the bicycle. Okay, so for that reason, I bring this video for you. It's a short video. I'm going to send the link in order you, you can reproduce it in your cell phone. It has a part of a bicycle. So let me send it to you. Okay, just allow me a moment.
Yeah, let me send it here in the Zoom chat. And also I will send it in the WhatsApp chat. Just allow me a moment. It's not working. <laughs> okay. I didn't have it in my computer, but just let me open it again. So lady, did you take off today? Today and tomorrow and Wednesday? Uh... Mm -mm, today no? not no did you go to the office in my house oh in your house mm -hmm. okay so online 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 okay that is good okay it seems that that my internet is not working okay because i'm trying to open What's up in my computer, but it doesn't load. If someone can send it to the chat, please take the link from uh, the the meeting, the sub meeting, and then send it to the chat. Okay, it doesn't. It doesn't work. Do you have access from your computer, uh, Carlos? Excuse me, teacher. What, what do you mean? Can you open WhatsApp in your computer? Ah, yes, yes. yes, yes. Please help me uh, to co copy the link from okay. Zoom chat and then send it to the to the uh, WhatsApp chat, please. Okay. Thank you so much. Done, okay. teacher. Okay, done. Okay, there you have it. So I will give you okay, five minutes. You can play the video twice. So in order we can study the, the path of the bicycles. Okay. Okay, you can start now. Take note of uh, the vocabulary, please. Hey, sir. Rodrigo yes? is preparing for the store. <laughs> 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 he is in the supermarket. Boy, a, a lot uh -huh. of food. <laughs> okay. It's okay. He told me that he will be late uh, as a listener at the beginning, but later um, he will be here. Okay, good. Um. Okay, you can start now, five minutes from now.
Okay, good. Did you finish? Yes. yes. Okay, very good. Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, do you remember vocabulary that we saw here, right? That is in the material. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, what, which one the different about a uh, wheel versus tire? Wheel is uh, the circle. Okay, el círculo que vemos aquí. Y el, oh. y, uh, how about with the ring? The ring. Uh -huh. uh, well, en realidad el, el wheel es, el, es la llanta en sí, right? Pero, pero, o sea, completa toda. Uh -huh. eh, y puede ser también un círculo. Okay, the ring eh, sería. Exactamente el metal. Ah, ok. Y el tire es el otro metal que sería como el hule. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Yes. Okay, so you can you. see there are different uh, parts, right? That are, that form the, the complete wheel. Oh, yeah. okay. ok. Ok, ok. Yes, teacher, because the... The wheels has three parts, the mm -hmm. ring, the tire, and of course the yeah the tire and the ring. Correct. Yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. As you can see here, you can see seat right there. What is the other way yeah. that we can call seat? Do you remember? Saddle. Okay. Saddle. That is this one, right? Saddle. Saddle. That is another way that you can call this this part the seat. Okay. Then we have uh, the handle part. What is the handle part? Mm -hmm. The piece for which we can carry the the mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Then we have uh, the pedals. You know what are the pedals, right? What the one, the one that we have here, and the frame. What is the frame? This part, right? This one. It's like a chassis, teacher. Mm. It is that triangle that we have that we see here. That is the frame. Ah, the, the mark, the mark, uh -huh. or something like that. Okay. Correct. Yes. Okay. Imagine that you are go you have a new bicycle, but you have all just the parts, right? How you are going to assemble? assemble that bicycle that bicycle what will be the first parts that you are going to to try to join huh how you are going to start to do it sure. in my case i try to uh start up with the frame maybe okay the frame uh-huh okay and after that the wheels uh, yes, will be. Okay. Yes. Then, someone else? And then, teacher, we can put the saddle. We can assemble the saddle. Uh huh. And then, we can assemble the handlebars. And when we assemble the handlebars, we can put the, the in the same time the brake lever, brake mm -hmm. cable from brake. Yeah. Okay. Brakes. Yeah. Good. So the chain we have here, la cadena, and the pedals. Okay. So the last part, 
will be for probably the the cables, right? The break that will be in all this. Okay, good. Okay, that is the way that we're going to explain uh, our product, okay? How, if that is a product that it is formed by different parts, so you are going to explain how you are going to complete your product, okay? How you are going to, what is the verb that we use to, uh-huh, what is the verb? Organize. Assemble. Assemble. Ah, assemble. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you have to assemble the product, so you have to explain in step by step how you are going to do it. Okay. Uh, what is first? What is next? Okay. What follows and what is at the end? Okay. Good. This is just an example. Okay. How we're going to do that. Really good. Um, okay, let me see if you learn the names. Let me see, Carlos, what is the name of this one? Uh, give me one second, teacher. I don't know, it's like a, a handlebar, maybe. Okay, the handlebar, okay, good. Uh, lady, this part. Pedal, pedal. Okay, the pedals. Okay, good. Uh, Jose Andres, this part. This part. Seed or saddle. Seed or saddle. Okay, seed or saddles. Okay, excellent. Benito, what is this part? Uh, frame. Okay, the fra frame. Okay. Mm. And Julio, ring, the rings. The ring. Okay. Ring. What? It, uh, or we can call that wheels, right? Okay. Okay. Good. So now. We're going to make a review about the indirect questions. Do you remember the indirect questions, how we, we organize the question? Yes? Okay. And do you remember this building vocabulary that was uh, related to different uh, pieces of product? That is the weld, the screwed, the tighten, adjust, and unscrewed. Okay, we have here different uh, words like uh, verbs and items, okay? Uh, objects. Okay, so I, I guess everybody in your house, uh, you have this kind of uh, materials or if you don't have it, but uh, you have used it before when you are uh, constructing in your house or you have seen someone that have used it. Okay, so now we're going to try to make one interview equation using this vocabulary. Okay, so for example, uh, what is the meaning of scroll? Carlos, do you remember? Uh, yes, teacher is uh, it's in Spanish is tornillo. Okay, but this is the verb, right? Atornillar. Ah. <laughs> How you are okay. going to make a question to someone with this verb? Uh, maybe uh, and did you uh, did you screw the wood in the in the table maybe? Okay, have you okay. screw? Have you screwed 
Aha. Uh -huh. Have you scrubbed the wood in the table? Okay. Okay. Another example. Have you? Have you? Okay. As lo has hecho alguna vez. Ah, okay. How you? <laughs> okay. Uh, what would be another example using that verb? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué más podemos atornillar en la casa? Not only the wood in the table, but also we door. Can, what else? The door. The door. Okay. Okay, try to use another uh, another question using the other vocabulary that we have here. Yeah. I will give you three minutes to do it. From now, 8.29. So A thirty two. Just one one question, okay? So you have more um uh, you have the meaning When you buy a furniture, so uh, un mueble, right? That is made of any material. It could be wood or other kind of material. So do you assemble that or do you pay someone to do it in your, in, in your case? I don't know if you have tried to do it before. What is that, Rolando? <laughs> Number nine, nine. 
was a mistake. <risa> a chorro de night. <risa> ya, yeah, mistake, teacher, sorry. <risa> ok, ok. <risa> Carlos, pues es question mark. Question mark. Eh? <risa> What's going on here? Yes. <risa> ok. So what is weld, Carlos? Have you used have you ever used weld machine? What do you want to say with that? Um, no, teacher, uh, my machines weld. Only an expert uh use these kinds of machine, teacher. Uh when I needed uh something that uh of of well, I looking for something or people specialize to the, this kind of mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, so you don't you don't have any practice with that? No, <laughs> not not this year. Never. <laughs> <laughs> never. Okay. Never. Well, you have to use all the tools that I uh, I mean for this kind of job, right? If you use it. Mm. I, maybe I remember uh, uh, I bought, uh, I don't know, a shell, you uh -huh. know, and yes, uh, this kind of uh, objects uh, needed to ensemble, right? First is unboxing, then uh, classify those uh maybe the, the parts maybe and okay. uh, in, in this case the the shelf uh with my wife we started to ensemble with uh a screw maybe mm -hmm. yes a part of parts try right, to organize but you have you have a manual when you buy this kind of uh furniture right so you have to follow all the, the instructions. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Okay. So if you're going to do a dangerous job, right? So you have to use a helmet. You know what is a helmet? It's like a protection avoid to the uh -huh. sparks. So if Correct. If you're going to use a weld machine, so you have to use a helmet. Yes. Okay. Okay. Someone else uh, may they have experiences assembling <clears throat> furniture in your house? No? Okay. So let me see the questions that you have. Okay. Using this vocabulary. Okay, I think it's, it's when you, uh, I don't know how do you say teacher, um, uh, desarmador, or maybe, a screwdriver. Uh-huh. And, and then you uh, adjust the, the screw and the, for to, Maybe uh, unir las partes. How do you say unir? I don't remember. Bean? No. Or join? Weld. When you, uh huh, that is the verb. Okay. So you use weld. Okay. Es una máquina de soldar. When you use mm -hmm. you see weld machine. Pero cuando usted utiliza el verbo, como lo utiliza como verbo. Ok, uh -huh. porque la máquina une también porque va a soldar. So, uh -huh. weld is, is used to say join pieces, right? Uh -huh. Yes. When, when you use a, a screw, screwdriver, maybe, a and, screw then, drive and then tighten the, the, the screw, uh -huh. uh, how, how do you say this? Um, 
Ah, I don't know, I perdí la idea. A screwdriver <laughs> es una desarmadora, uh -huh. as you said, right? Ajá, uh -huh. correct, uh -huh. yes, yes. But in this case, uh, I can use tighten, right? Okay. Or, or not? Yes. Yes, ah, okay. Uh, the idea is uh, when the screwdriver, I use the screw. Uh, the screw. Uh -huh. When when weld the uh, or join maybe mm -hmm. some part of the wool maybe or 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 to organize the shell. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Or the other kind of furniture. Correct. Excellent. Okay. Very good, Carlos. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Jose Andres. You, you, I, I saw you, your hands. Do you have the question? Yes, teacher, I have three questions. Okay, what would be your question? How do you well a weapon in your life? Okay, have you weld a weapon in your life? Okay. Did you, did you script the portrait on the wall? Okay, good. And have you tighter uh, those left for the storm? Okay. Just okay. three questions. Just three. Yes. Just three. Okay, thank you so much. Jose Andres, okay, lady. What will be your question? Do you need um, my sister to help you weld the window? And to weld need... the window, okay. Uh, uh -huh. And do you need to screw the bed? Do you need to screw the bed? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, Only good question. Two. Only two. It's okay. Thank you so much. Okay. I can see you are trying to use this vocabulary. Okay. That is the only way that you are going to, to, to learn it if you apply the vocabulary in different sentences. Okay. That is why I, I bring this exercise in order you can uh, try to apply what you have learned in the previous class. Okay. Uh, that is the only way that you are going to to memorize it, probably, using that in examples, okay? Someone else? Another example? Try to use simple sentences, okay? It, 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 uh, it doesn't matter if you don't have a, a complex sentences, right? It could be simple sentences, just using the vocabulary that we have there. No? Teacher, how can I say uh, a <laughs> screwdriver? Uh, there are uh, maybe two options to adjust uh, whatever thing you do. Uh, for example, when the people says screwdriver, uh, el plano, or el, o el, el, the other one is uh, Andresito, I don't know, si, si, si me capta o me cacha. <laughs> eh, cuando dice un desarmador plano, o el otro, I don't know, I don't remember. There are different kind of... Uh, yeah, Di I, different I have... different uh, puntas. Uh -huh. Different models. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh, yes, it's a plano or I don't remember the other one. But this is the idea. Uh, I, I don't know how to say it. Plano, screwdriver, plano. Plano is flat. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Desarmador plano, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Be... Ah, okay. Philips. Ah, Philips. Philips. <laughs> Thank you, Maria Leticia. Uh, flat screwdriver. Mm -hmm. There are different, different kinds, right? And you have to know, right, how to use them. Because if you don't know, so...
So mm -hmm. you're going to damage maybe uh, the screwed right, that you are using or another, uh, I don't know, any form of of uh, the furniture that you are using. So you can damage that if you don't use how to use the appropriate. Okay, guys. So if you don't have more examples, okay, that will be a personal homework for you to work on this vocabulary. Try to do examples, write examples. Try to say the uh, or practice, write the examples. That is the only way that you are going to to memorize how to use it, okay? So we're going to continue. So I have a question for you according to the last uh, lesson that we have in the unit four. Well, unit three, right? So next um, Wednesday, we're going to start the unit four. So do you agree that regardless of the size of the business, analyzing cost is essential to make profit? Have you ever calculated the price of a product? Can you name three fixed expenses to calculate the cost of a product? For example, the ones that you have been working. Okay, one example, it could be the Shisha Venezolana, I remember that. Okay, have you calculated the price? Okay, how much you are going to spend, uh, for example, to, I don't know, maybe one, one li um, liter of chicha, I don't know, the, the quantity or the measurement that you can do. So, but we're going to do that, right? So uh, we're going to calculate the cost today to create your product, okay? So the different products that you have been working on, try to create an estimated in your mind and tell me how much will be the cost. Someone who wants to participate, just an estimate it, try to calculate it in your mind um, according to what you think, how much will be the estimated cost. Teacher, uh, I think the first uh, that we are to do is Consider the raw material, mm -hmm. and maybe the could be the labor, and um, could be for for to calculate the cost price. Okay, so the material that you are going to use, right? Yes. Um. Uh, the you you said the. Labor? De hora, I don't know. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Labor. Labor. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Try to think of that. Lady? So your your product what is the name of your product lady? Headphones. The headphones? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what be what will be the estimated cost? Because it depends on the quality, right? It depends on the quality. We can have different prices. We can have from three dollars to 
maybe more than one hundred dollars. Sixty-five. Fifty-five dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about you, Jose Andres? What was your product? My pro my product was uh, 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 application teacher. Oh, was an application, yeah. okay. But also, uh, is, uh, mm -hmm. yes. Yes, but also you have to calculate the cost, right? Um, for example, I how long know. you will take there doing that application, and how uh, how you're going to. How much I, will I be think per hour, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The, during my case, teacher, well, in my, in my think, is like I'm going to sell my application from the Play Store or from the Google, and they, and they can, they can put the, they can, yeah, they can put the, the, the price from the application inside of the Play Store. So for me, I just sell the application from Google. Is possible from. Wow, um, sixty-five, fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay. Okay, but you need to calculate how long you will take to to develop that application, right? Yeah. First, okay. we are going to make a prototype feature. Uh huh. That and... is really like a demo. <laughs> yes, and who will be like uh if you will. Uh, paid someone to to do it to design it, or will be uh done by yourself. Yeah. Okay. And the, yeah, 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 teacher. Yes, okay. go ahead. What do you think? Oh yes, teacher. I can develop one part of the application, and then I need help from develop the other parts from the application. Okay. Good. Thank you so much. Okay, so we have here a reading. It is a, um important information that we need to consider when we are uh, working in a product. Okay, the first part, uh, can you please read it? Well, let me read the first and then I have one to three paragraphs. It says, read the following text, featuring tips. Uh, on how to analyze the cost of a product, then answer the questions. Well, we have questions that we're going to answer based on this information. There are three important factors businesses need to consider when pricing a product. The cost of the production, okay, that is the cost of the production, the market demand for the product, okay, or service, okay, um and the desire um uh, markup by the business okay so the first part can you please uh help me to read it well i need a volunteer for the first paragraph thank you jose andres carlos okay. and lady okay go ahead andres there are three important factors business need to consider when pricing a product when pricing a product the cost of the production the market demand from the product and the decided markup by the business the cost of production fixed and variable cost determine the ceiling price of a business firm's product fixed costs include Items so, such as the rent from your office or manufacturing space. Variable, variable costs include items that change with your sales volume, like labor and materials. In pricing your product, first determine how much of your fixed and variable costs going to producing each unit of your product. Also, it may be a, dif a difficult calculation. 
a simple formula to help you is to add your total fixed cost to your total variable cost. Then you dip it, type it, dip it I, the total by your estimate total sales. You will have then your cost of production per unit. Now you have to sell the product for at least this amount in order to cover the cost of production. Thank you so much. Okay. Markup. Yeah, that was okay. Markup. And then Markup. we have variable. Variable. Okay. Variable. 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 Yes. Variable. Okay, teacher. Okay, uh, also volume. 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 Okay. Volume. Determine. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Determine. Yes. Determine. Okay. Determine. And. <clears throat> Divide. Divide. Here. Divide. Mm -hmm. Divide. Then you divide okay. the total by your estimated total sales. Okay. Very good. So that is a, that is uh, regarding the cost of production. Now, uh, Carlos, the market, uh, the market demand for product of service. Okay, teacher, thank you. Uh, the second paragraph of this says market demand for a product or service. Market demand for a product or a service is the second factor that a business owner should consider when pricing, pricing. a product. Pricing a product, the lab of demand is that there is an inverse relationship between demand and price. As price fall, demand rise and as, pra as price rise, demand fall. Demand for your product is just an important to consider to consider when setting a price as the cost of production. There is usually a positive or direct relationship between consumer income and demand. As a consumer income goes up, so does demand for a product. Okay. Demand. 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 Yeah. Demand. That is a correct pronunciation. Okay. okay. The demand of. <clears throat> The market demand for a product or service. The show well means as price fall, demand rise, and as price rise. Price it's fall like, is like when the price is down, cuando baja, uh, and when and when it's rise is cuando sube. Demand rise is is the opposite. Mm -hmm. The opposite. Okay. Okay. And as price rise, price rise, yeah, the prices uh, rise, okay, se levantan. Mm. Cuando mm -hmm. sube y baja, prices. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thank you. If you said that it goes up, it is also the same, is because it's it's rise, the it prices rise, it goes Gas up. up. Mm -hmm. Va hacia arriba. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. Now, lady. Determinating the markup of a product, regardless of the type of a small business, markup is the amount you add to the cost of your product to determine the, the selling term. price. Determine, determine the selling price. 
The markup percentage is determined by the amount of your planet profit, the type of the product or service you are selling, how rapid the product sells, and the amount of service perform, performed by, by the, the seller. seller. Okay. Very good, good. Okay. So, do you have questions about this reading? Any phrase or word that you haven't understood? Yes, teacher. Excuse me. Uh, again, with the with this sentence is as a price fall, demand rise, and as a price rise, demand fall. Mm -hmm. Is okay. Like what a... is a de demand? Guess on the uh... demand. Demand. Uh huh. It, it, it's like uh. Uh, for example, when a product is more cheap, uh, obviously uh, a lot of people uh, buy this product. Mm -hmm. Obviously, because the price is very cheap. This is the idea, right? Correct. Uh -huh. And the opposite is and uh, as price rise the amount falls correct is when is when the same product is uh -huh. more when expensive the, the weather the... price it is a uh high -huh, it is rise when it's expensive demand mm -hmm. falls como que baja la o sea, yes is is happening was was it the gasoline in the pandemic correct yes the price of the gasoline is is what's very lower mm -hmm, yeah. because no one so, was was but uh well everybody was almost at home, up home right so no yes, one was yes. using the gasoline that is why <laughs> the price uh fall okay yes uh-huh yes and now very expensive <laughs> yes now it is things <laughs> yes but it happens the people always uh, use a lot of cars to share. <laughs> so really appear that uh, there are many, a lot of money, maybe. I don't know. It seems that we have a lot of money, but uh, in reality, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> My wallet is uh, empty to share. <laughs> Yes, yes. Um, like a gasoline tank in my car. Only for gasoline. <laughs> it depends also of of uh, the car that you have, right? If that yes, is spend yeah. a lot of gasoline, it will be yes, just so. for the gasoline. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good. Another question that you may have about uh this uh reading. If you don't have questions, so we're going to start answering the questions. What are the most important factors to consider when setting a price for a product? According to the reading, what do you think? When we set up a price for a product, what are the most important factors? Uh-huh. So the, the different variables, right, to to produce that product, okay? We're talking about the materials. The quality of the, the product. The quality. Uh -huh. Variable cost. Yes. Okay, the labor. Okay, the, the labor and material. Yes, the labor and materials. Yes. Okay. The guarantee. Okay, yes, are a lot of characteristics that we can consider too. So what are some examples of fixed cost? Mm -hmm. 
What are some examples? Rent, rent or manufacturing. Okay. Salaries, teacher, maybe. Okay, it could be. In insurance. Insurance? If you have mm -hmm. if you have insurance for uh your business, do you mean what is that is what yes. you want to say? Okay. Yes, maybe uh we shouldn't about to um to uh, avoid maybe uh any eventuality. Mm-hmm. To protect your business, right? Yes, of course. Okay. No, that is good. To have insurance, it works. Believe me that it works. You have insurance for your car. So you have to pay, right? But at the end, it is a benefit. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, if you have health insurance also, I mean... Private insurance, right? No, there is. <laughs> but it helps you. <laughs> it help no, you. this year. No. No, <laughs> no, Carlos. No, this year, no. No, okay. So it depends, right? The experiences that you have. Okay. <laughs> um, Let me see. What are the examples or what, what are the examples of variable cost? Mm -hmm. Variable cost. Teacher could be raw material. Okay. Yes. What else? Mm -hmm. but Production says, supplies. Okay. It says variable costs include items that can change with your sales volume, like labor and material. Okay. In pricing your products, first determine how much of your fix and variable costs go into producing each unit of your product. It could be also that the material sometimes is is cheaper and and sometimes is more expensive, right? That can that can cost a variable cost. Okay. So how does market demand affect the pricing of your product? How does market demand of affect the prices of, of your product? What do you think? Mm -hmm. How does market demand affect the pricing of your product? Materials. Materials, uh huh. Labors. Okay. But imagine that you are selling that uh, uh product, right? So you you sell all of the units that you have from that specific product. And now you want to produce more products because you are selling a lot. So how do you consider that that will affect the pricing? Teacher. Uh-huh. Julio? A bigger, a bigger demand. Uh, a bigger demand, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, low cost, low prices. Low the prices, okay. Why, uh, Julio? Uh, because um, uh, 
I have a, a, an example. Mm -hmm. uh, in any time, I sell fish. Mm -hmm. When uh, a beer. Uh, when the 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 fish is uh, a lot of fish in the market, mm -hmm. the price is uh the price to buy the fish is very 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 that low, low. Very low. Uh, because in the market is uh, um, maybe impossible to put a uh, a lot of uh, this uh, uh, como decirlo uh, Esa cantidad de, de, de pescado. So it is so difficult it's so to, to handle the, the Okay, okay. The it's, so difficult, it's so difficult to sell this product because uh, many people is selling the same product uh -huh. uh, to uh to cool to uh, to cool sell the product they uh low the prices of fair uh -huh. prices mm -hmm. Más bajos. Mm -hmm. they love the prices okay but also depends on the product right so in this case because it is a product that uh we cannot have it a lot of time also in um we cannot save it for a lot of time so it need to be sold and consumed by people um if there are um, um big quantity as you said right so that is why the the prices will be lower okay so, yes uh, but yeah mm -hmm. uh, so many people uh, prefer uh, to sell big uh, quantity mm -hmm. um a lower price uh, yes yeah no, I mean if 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 we sell the product, right? Uh if we say if we see that we have a high demand of the product, so it means that is uh that you need you need to produce more, right? You need to reproduce. You need to uh if that is a product that you that you produce, right? So you need to to have a a big production if you see that the it is really demanded and a lot of people need that product. Yes. And uh, because you see that your business is, is working. Yes, it made sense that the, the, the cost can be uh, cheaper right, than before, probably. Uh, because you will calculate um, again so the pro the material if you are producing more products i guess the labor will be uh cheaper so it could be that the prices can be lower if you have a demand of that product Teacher. okay, okay. yes okay. yeah excuse me what happened uh its resource are limited Oh, if the resource are limited, so in that case, you are going to stop to produce the product. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. You have to wait for more material. But we have a big problem. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people needed the product, but uh, the factory maybe don't produce, uh, of course, a lot of product. Yes. In that case, yes, we have a problem because uh, you, as a company, you will lose money, right? You will lose money because uh, you are not producing. If you yeah. have a high demand, right, of the product, so, yes. Yes, yes. You need to, to, to see how to get the material to continue producing the, the product. Okay. Uh, it says what variables influence to determine the markup percentage. So how what do you understand for that question? 
-hmm. What variables influence to determine the markup percentage? What is markup? A picture. Yes. I, I see. I see. I see uh, la, la. The loss of the mass. The product. And because uh, the product, uh, a lot of uh, most uh, if, if the people I need my, more product, uh, the price as price. Mm -hmm. In in the number five, uh, may. Yes. Uh, variables influence uh, to determine the market percentage. Percent, percentage. Percentage. Uh, mm -hmm. Percentage. The fixed cost. Is to determine uh, what percentage uh, we can gain. Okay. Sure. What are the variables? Okay. ¿Qué sería lo que influye? So, what are the variables that influence to determine the market percentage? Okay. So, the market percentage is when the percentage increase, right? Yes, Carlos? Yeah, uh, yes, teacher. Uh, I believe in the, the most important variable that uh, affects to the market percentage could be the inflat inflation or inflation, I don't know how to say Infla la inflation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the inflation of cost yeah, yeah teacher uh, at this moment yeah the inflation uh, but in general in a uh, occasion or uh, not in terminal general uh, the fixed cost um, we need to determine the uh, uh, the price equilibrium equilibrate el, el mm -hmm. punto de equilibrio the equilibrate point to to know uh, if we we are a uh, obtenendo we are get gain or we are lost with the sale of our product okay good very good yes um there are a lot of variables, right, that can influence to determine if um, the market percentage. So it depends also of uh, how the business is working. So how your product is sold in the market, right? So it depends of uh, what are the profits that you are um, having with your business, with your product? Okay, really good. So now that we have been discussing that information, we're going to continue working with the following uh, activity. So we're going to take reference the prototype. You remember the prototype but that you already worked uh, in the previous activities. So you're going to take as, as a reference the prototype you worked with the, your in your um, team before, okay? In the previous uh, activity, not previous lesson, well, we have been working for, since the previous lesson, but yes, we are going to take into account the prototype in the previous activity. 
So you're going to design a basic production process to start massive manufacturing of the prototype. So what is a massive manufacturing? So it means that you're going to produce a lot, right? Uh, then make a list of the material the product required, okay? Identity, identify the type of uh, machinery necessary for the production. List the method that will be used for the production, okay? For example, it could be welding, casting, press working, etc. Detail the essential tasks in each step in the production process. Create a route sheet explaining the sequence of the production process. Okay, so uh, I don't know if you consider that it's difficult to do this or it will take a lot of time. Please let me know if if you have questions about this. So we're going to continue working in the, in the same teams that we have been working before. Yes, teacher. Please read the instructions uh, carefully and I will give you, uh, well, how much time do you consider that you need to work on it? Until 10 p.m., teacher? <laughs> Until 10 p.m. <laughs> okay. Oh, maybe, I don't know, teacher. Uh, 20 minutes, 25, I don't know. Okay. Good. So let me make the rooms the same way that we have been working before. Rodrigo, how are you doing? I'm fine, teacher, and you? I'm very well, thank you so much. How was your supermarket? <laughs> uh, how much did you spend? Today, so many people has received the, the payment, so. Oh. Yes. Make a make a make a note on that. <laughs> I imagine. I went yesterday night, but um it, it was the same. I mean a lot of people there. Yes, imagine... also the the people uh, well I am one of them. Uh, they 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 buy a lot of things maybe because of the depression. So I I don't know what's go what what will go uh, later, so I have some food for the next fifteen days. Fifteen days, okay. Yes, me too. I have a uh, Maruchan box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, Maruchan uh, uh, and a couple uh, tortillas, you know. Eh, rapiditas, <laughs> rapiditas, sandwich, atún, yes, tuna, may <laughs> mayonnaise, <laughs> mayonnaise. Okay, well, that is that is good. <clears throat> okay, let me see. In the first team is Carlos, um, Mauricio, and Gilberto. Then we have a uh, lady, Maria Leticia, and Gabby. Okay, then we have, um, let me see. Okay, let me open my presentation that we that I saved be, before because I don't remember all the teams. Let me see. Just let me check here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. 
Daniela and Katy, right? Daniela and Katy. Do you remember if you have another classmate? The strawberry lemonade. Yes. Daniela, uh, Kathy was your, oh, she's here too. And who else was working with you? Do you remember? Me teacher. Hi. Yeah. Only you, Daniela and Kathy? Yes. Do you remember someone else? <laughs> no. I don't remember. No, okay. So, Sophia, did you work with Nancy? No, teacher. Who was your partner? Was... With Kathy. Kathy? Did you work with Kathy? Yes. So, in that okay. case, would be Daniela, <laughs> Kathy, and Sophia. Remember me. Okay, let me see. Mm -mm -mm. It was Daniela, Kathy, and Sofia. Yes, you were working together. I'm sorry. Okay. Then we have uh, Julio, Cindy, and Nancy. Yes, Julio? Yes, teacher. Julio, Cindy, and Nancy. Okay, then we have Andres, Mauricio, and Rolando. Yes, Andres? Yes, teacher. Okay. For Mauricio, are you here, and Mauricio? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay. En Rolando, teacher. En Rolando, yes. Okay, let me open the rooms and I will be checking what you are doing. If you have questions, please let me know. Did you receive the invitation? Okay. Kathy, are you there? Kathy. Uh, teacher, can send us the instructions from the group. Okay, I will send it. Just a moment, please. <laughs> 
There you have the instructions. Okay, Mauricio and Rolando. First, uh, sería the cabin cook cabin. Cabin cook. I creo que teníamos. Like a cabin cook cabin. Sorry, que estaba, estaba ocupado ahí. Es que estoy cuidando sí. a mi sobrino, pero ya vamos. Ya, ya voy a tener chance. Ok. Lo último que habíamos hablado era de la cook, cook, cook cabin. So, kitchen cabin era la, la, la cosa. Esa era. La última presentación que hicimos. Sí, eh, bueno, ¿cuál era? Vaya, ahora sí, este. Ok. okay. La última presentación. Vaya, la última hice? presentación que hicimos, ¿verdad? De la... Era de la que estábamos hablando, de la... ¿Verdad? De la gabineta. Ajá, Kitchen Cabinet. Era, ¿verdad? Kitchen Cabinet. Ajá. Ajá. Cabinet. Sí. Ok. Kitchen cabinet. Vamos a tomar okay. esa como referencia. Ajá, ajá, ajá. es nuestro prototipo. Sí. Y ahí sería Design a Basic Production Process to Start Massive Manufacturing on the Product. Como que tenemos que diseñar una, como una producción básica, un proceso básico de producción para comenzar a facturar el en gran masa el, el prototipo mm -hmm. entonces eh, de forma que sería de... Ajá, sería una, una forma de fabricación que lo podemos reproducir en masa este para poderlo sí ajá aquí chingaban entonces aquí está la presentación ya sí sí ya tenemos solo le podemos añadirlo vaya ahora entonces tenemos que diseñar una un, como una, ajá, una un proceso de producción rápido sí Sería. Quiero ver. ¿Cómo lo podríamos hacer? Eh... Diseño. Diseñar un. Básico. Yo tengo aquí. Quiero ver, permítame. Aquí tengo este un ejemplo. O sea, quiero ver si lo puedo. Permítame. Tengo un ejemplo, quiero ver si se los puedo mandar. Para ver si lo podemos añadir ahí. Creo que podemos al chat añadir imagen para sí, o sea, sí. a este chat creo que se puede. Ahí está. Sí. 
¿Cómo? En el chat. Bueno, ahí ahorita se lo voy a... Ok. Uh, vamos a ver. Que que tengo un poco lento, lento, por todas las tormentas. Sí. Bueno, voy a hacer otra vez. ¿Qué tal me sale? Va? La cabana le brilló al oscuro. Digital Word PowerPoint uh -huh. eh, Presentación en blanco ¿Por qué no? Tal vez Es Um, very sí. limón algo cambiaremos la carta no le pillo un oscuro Teníamos que agregar otra cosa aparte de los ingredientes. No sé. Es que se sabe que es, muy poco, es mucho tiempo lo que pidieron para, para solo poner los ingredientes. No. Aquí sí. Hello. Hola, teacher. Hello. Yes, I sent the instructions to the group. There you can check it. Okay. There you have all the steps that they're going to follow. Habría que diseñar un el proceso básico de la producción para empezarlo a, para empezar a hacer un prototipo de forma masiva. Entonces, tendríamos que hacer los pasos. ¿Cómo así? Como, pues, como, como enlistar los, el proceso de creación del producto. Por ejemplo, exprimimos los limones, colocamos en una batidora los limones y las fresas con el azúcar. Bueno, ya tenemos los ingredientes. Uh -huh. Entonces ahorita nos faltaría hacer el proceso. Los pasos del proceso para hacer el producto. Uh -huh. Y de ahí dice... Ah, vale. Enlistar los materiales que se requieren. Identificar los tipos de maquinaria necesaria para la producción. Enlistar los métodos de producción que se van a utilizar. Welding, casting, press, working. Detallar las tareas principales para cada uno de los en el proceso de producción. Crear un una ruta, una hoja de ruta, explicación de la secuencia de la producción del proceso. Hijo. Bye. Diseñar una producción. 
Va, entonces ya tenemos lo de los ingredientes, que es el, 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 el punto dos. Uh -huh. El punto uno era hacer el proceso de, de la, la, como el proceso de producción. Va, entonces podemos ponerle entonces ahí proceso de producción. Quiero ver. Oh, entonces voy a usar la misma que tenía. Uh -huh. Diseñar una un proceso de producción básico para iniciar la uh -huh. elaboración masiva del prototipo. Entonces le pongo proceso de qué? Sería ba basic production process. Basic Production Process. Basic Production Process. Process. Uh -huh. okay. Entonces, lo primero sería la compra de los materiales. Uy, permítame que... Que no me sale. Ok. Ya me moví. ¿Qué te moviste? ¿Cuál era el primero? La primera es... Compra de materiales. Ajá, compra de materiales. Compra de materiales. Ok. No, primero no sería. No. Quiero ver. No sacaríamos un presupuesto o algo así. Ah, sí. Realizar sí, un sí, presupuesto sí, sería el número uno. Sí. Elaborar un presupuesto. Dice ahí. Uh, el diseño, design, la basic production. Uh -huh. El primer punto, ¿verdad? Sí. Y lo... Quiero ver. Desarrollo. ¿Dónde está? Uh -huh. Vaya, pero ahorita no. Producción, proceso. El otro, ya le ahorita. Design y develop, development. Diseño de, de first step in the manufacturing. Eh, se lo, le voy a enviar. El 79.43 es verdad. Uh -huh. Vaya, ahí está. <ríe> ya. Va, ahorita voy a revisar. Ese es. Vamos a ver. No es mucho. No vean. Eso es. Ese es uno del, de, de, del proceso, pero son cuatro, cinco, quiero ver, cinco. Teacher, vamos a explicar cada proceso. Um, yes, first you're going to design... Um, the basic production okay process cómo lo cómo lo diseñaron al principio y cómo lo harían grande la producción okay mm -hmm. and then the list of the materials that you are going to use that, that the product require okay mm -hmm. identity uh, identify the type of um, machinery la, ma la maquinaria que van a utilizar 
okay, de la yeah. producción. Yeah. And, uh, y las materias primas. Yes. Okay. También los métodos que van a utilizar en la producción. ¿Qué tipo de métodos? Pueden ser los que están aquí o, o otros, etcétera. Significa que hay más. Ok. Ok. Details, the essential task in each step of the production. ¿Qué, qué se hace en, en los steps? Así como les enseñaba lo de la bicicleta. Eh, ¿qué, cómo, ¿Cómo son...? De, iniciando, digamos, del paso número uno hasta el último, cómo se crea el producto, ¿ok? Ok. okay. Bueno. Listo. <coughs> Ya le, ya le envío lo, los otros. Vaya, yo estoy viendo como la lista de... de lista de materiales. Uh -huh. este, este sería el segundo. Se lo voy a mandar uno a uno para que en ese orden van. Mira, Rodri y don Gilberto, no sé si eso podría como abonar, digamos. Tal vez lo podemos modificar o como una idea general, ¿va? general de cómo, de cómo iría diseñado el proceso de, del pante. ¿Qué sugiere usted, don Carlos? Ajá, a, a, ahí mandé yo este como un eh, como el diseño o el proceso de, de algo de que, no no al, al chat de, de Zoom. Al chat. <coughs> no sé cómo que lo podemos editar o incluir dentro de una de las como a manera de resumen, pues. Sí, tomando ese proceso. Ajá, qué bueno. Es como un diagrama, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ah, pero está mejor este. Lo voy a... Aquí está otro. Quiero ver para que vean ese. Los inputs la maquinaria, la mano de obra, los materiales, los consumibles. Yo, yo creo que yo creo que en cuatro puntos ya más o menos definimos la línea de producción básica. La Ajá. creación de los de los planos del pantry. <coughs> Tener definido todas las medidas de las piezas del pantry, contar con todos los suplidores de los materiales. Y tener definido el orden de producción del mueble. En este caso, preparación, corte, ensamblaje y acabado. Acuérdense Ajá. que requiere también el uso de la maquinaria que vamos a utilizar, ¿verdad? Ah, ese es el, el siguiente. <coughs> ese es el siguiente. Sí, entonces ya nos pasamos al siguiente. Ajá. Entonces, en este caso... Ajá, identificar los tipos de maquinaria necesarias para la producción. Pues una sierra, ¿verdad? Creo que eh... se dice SAC. ¿Cómo se dice sierra? Sierra. Sierra con S, no. No, 
Bueno, en Quiero español decir. es con S, ¿verdad? Sí, porque cierra con C, cierra. No, es cierra con S que no es allá el monte. Es para cerrar. Ah, es una montaña. Ah, Ajá. cierra. Ah, pues no, no yo, yo vengo de la sierra. Sí, pero cierra es con S. Entonces, so, era... a so, 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 so es. Sí. Ajá. Eh, eh, de mesa. Sí, Tierra de, de mesa, mesa es eso. Uh -huh. Sí. So for cutting wood. So desk. No, desk, desk, so. Es uh -huh. como, como el pasado de ver. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama esto? Taladro. Taladro. Drill. 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 Eh... Y otra herramienta que uno es importante es el, el router, ¿verdad? Ese es el que usted le da los, los moldes, ¿verdad? O sea, hace, hace, hace moldura, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo se llama? Eh? Puerta, router. Ah, el router. Yes. El, route, el router. Uh -huh. Yo creo que con es... esos tres tipos de herramientas hace milagro cualquier carpintero. Sí, de, pero hay que poner también las manuales, vea. No, pues sí, ahí va el taladro y el, y el router es manual, ¿verdad? No, porque el, el router es, es eléctrico. Las manuales tienen que ser cepilladora. Eh, pero no me si acuerdo. Usted utiliza, si usted utiliza Playboy, no es necesario usar cepilladora. Tal vez podría comprar como manual una lijadora verdad de, de vibración que es para sí de las producto. pequeñas cuadraditas ajá es una lijadora de, lijadora. de vibración San, sander pero obviamente pues las manuales va martillo hammer. y su respectivo martillo sin él no se puede hacer nada hay su formón Solo que formó, no sé cómo se llama eso. Yo creo que ni siquiera es el nombre. Formó. Bueno, aquí dice Chaisel. Así dejémoslo y le dejamos formó en... En Spanish. Ajá. Y... y su respectiva escuadra, varón. Para que vaya bien nítido, ¿verdad? Si en la escuadra un carpintero, pues queda sin nada. Vale, madres. Vaya. Cuarco. Ahí están. Eh, de ahí lo que sigue. Lista de métodos que se utilizarán para la producción. Por ejemplo, soldadura. Bueno, lo que les había dicho, pero te lo voy a traducir. Pero, sí, en este caso usaríamos... Esto es tornillos, ensamblaje. Tornillos. No, 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 no. Porque... O sea, ¿cómo, ¿cómo es el tipo de producción? Si es de soldadura, si es de fundición, trabajo en prensa. Esto es un ensamblaje. Ajá, correcto. Entonces, Ahí le mando este... yo los, 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 las herramientas. ¿eh? Sí, o sea, porque como esto no es ni acero ni nada de eso, entonces... Es madera. Eh. Ajá, madera es, esto es un ensamblaje, ¿verdad? una unión, una pega. Ajá, correcto. Sería un ensamblaje... Y una fijación, porque va, va empotrado, pues, en este caso. Un, un huevo. Voy a crear como otra. La teacher decía que well también, aparte de soldar, es un hilo. ¿Verdad, teacher? Hello, teacher. Está, está, está en silencio, oh, hello. hello, teacher. No, I'm here listening to you. Eh, teacher, excuse me. You uh says about the the word well uh, means to uh union, right? Mm -hmm. Joint pieces of metal Join. or uh huh. Uh, okay. Joint pieces, okay. Yes, it could be, yes, it could be used also to to weld uh the pieces for your for your 
what you are doing pantry pantry yes mm -hmm. Quiero ver. Eh, ensamblaje. Oh. Mm. Mallet. Yo he visto unos ensamblajes en unos muebles que llevan unos pines de guías. De madera, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Que eso le sirve de, que, de guía. ¿verdad? Usted los pone, los presiona y después en tornilla. Uh -huh. O sea, se puede decir que son guías de ensamble, ¿verdad? Guía de ensamble. Uh -huh. eh, sí, ya. No sé cómo se dice fijación a la pared o fijación well, a un lugar well, un potrado well, mm, well no in this no, case uh, what, what was the other bird that we used do you remember uh, we uh, have welding casting press working Titan screw. Neither casting nor press working is used here. Okay, let me let me search for that presentation. I remember that is another verb. Just let me make sure. Empotrar. What kind of products are you uh you going to use to do that process, uh, Rodrigo? What products? Uh -huh. ¿Con qué lo va a... Uh, um, ¿Va a ser como tornillo? Soda, por favor. Eh, sí, por tornillo, teacher. Okay. So in that case, remember the bird. What is the bird? Atornillar. Screw. Screw. Sí. Screw. Okay. Yes, a screw. Assembly You're going to screw the pieces to the to the wall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the ultimate uh, detailed essential task in each step. Detallar las tareas esenciales en cada paso para el proceso de producción. Pero eso ya lo mencionamos arriba. Sí, eso ya estuvo. Esto lo pusimos. Uy. Wow, I didn't realize the time. Almost, almost time. Yes, teacher. Aquí. Uh -huh. Esto, aquí está. Uy. Preparación, uh -huh. corte, ensamblado y acabado. Finishing. Uh -huh. Ya vamos Correcto. a dar la vieja confiable, copiar. Pero... So I'm going to close the rooms, guys, and um, we're going to finish tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Ok, dicho. Eh, le voy a mandar copia. Ahí al grupo. Vaya. Vieja, some paper. Oh, some paper. Some paper, teacher. Some paper. Hello. There is correct some paper. Some paper. What do you want to, to say with that? Este, paper for weekend. Que, que sea. 
la lija. Oh, la lija. Sí, yes, bueno. it's, co it's correct. Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. Ok, I'm going to close the rooms because it's almost time, ok? I'll see you in the main room. Ok, teacher. Ok. Bueno, tal vez mañana tenemos más. Welcome back. Okay, just let me wait for the rest. Teacher. Yes? Uh, do you have an example of the route? About the route that... Um, Oh, create a route. Okay. No, it is just create like an explanation in a sequence process, right? Mm -hmm. uh, of the production. For example, the one that I explain it, um, like the steps that you're going to, to do okay. in the production process. Step by step. Mm -hmm. Step okay. by steps. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay, guys, thank you so much for your time. I know that you have been working. So tomorrow we're going to complete that activity. I will give you extra time tomorrow in order we can complete it and we can uh, also explain what you have done, okay? Um, well, tomorrow we're going to complete the two homeworks that we are missing from the unit three. <clears throat> and please, Make sure that you complete all the activities that you have pending. Okay, Carlos, I saw that you are missing uh, the meter exam. That is, I guess you have done just the fifty percent. Please try yes, to complete it. Okay, okay because teacher. yes, uh, I have to report your scores every Friday. Mm, okay, teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. See you tomorrow. Okay, See have a tomorrow. good night. Take, take care. care. Bye, teacher. Okay. See bye you, bye. teacher. Oh, See you. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye -bye. Take care.